and welcome to Kids Corner. Now, did your household get a puppy or a dog during pandemic? I know a lot of people that got what they call a pandemic puppy. And my friend adopted a dog named Daisy, who's a Basset Hound. So we thought in honor of that, that we would try to make Daisy. Now, Sir Winston and I had one attempt and we're going to show you how to make Daisy today. And we are showing you a picture of Daisy. Now, a Basset Hound is a dog that can smell really well. And they've got big ears and little short legs. So what are you going to need to make the Basset Hound? Well, it helps to have a pencil and an eraser, scissors, scrap pieces of paper or cardboard, and you'll want markers or crayons, crayon pencils. I find it very helpful to have a fine black marker or paint. I'm going to use paint and glue and of course a toilet paper roll. And we're going to start by making sure that all the toilet paper is off the roll. And then we are going to start, um, I think, with making the pieces of it. So take your scrap piece of paper, fold it over, and mark a big long like you for the ears. And we're going to cut it out. And because we folded it over, we'll have two ear ears when we're done cutting out. And the other piece we're going to cut out is a tail. And I'm going to make my tail out of cardboard. Or actually, it's a piece of an old uh, business card. And that just makes the tail a little stiffer and you cut out a shape something like this. So that means when we're all ready to color it in, we will have all our pieces ready. So we're going to start with the face. And let's start with the eyes. Now I have already sketched in the eyes lightly with a pencil, and that's what I would suggest that you start with. So we're going to take our black marker and we're going to draw the eye shape. And you'll see that Daisy had great big eyes. And in the center, we're going to draw a little circle. And then we're going to go a little more outside around the, that circle. So that we leave a little piece of it white. And that just makes the eye seem a lot more lively. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a very brown crayon and I'm going to go around that black circle, that pupil, and to make like another circle, the iris that gives the color for the eyes. And Daisy's eyes are very, very big. In fact, there's just a little bit of white around the edges. And there you can see what we've done for Daisy's eyes now. Now we're going to start to work on Daisy's nose. And the nose is very important for a dog like Daisy because she likes to smell things that are going on. And we're going to make it, it's a little like a fat U with a line across the top. And we'll color that in. And you can see that. Then we're going to draw like her kind of chin or her muzzle. And it's a little like a big W. And where it goes up in the middle, I'm just going to do a little bit across. And you can see that. Now, the picture of Daisy, if you remember from the front, Daisy 
head sort of around here and down a little bit to her nose. She was black and then around here was kind of a reddish brown and she had like little spots on her front and then she had legs and that's what we need to remember to do is we're going to draw like half a circle here and we're not going to make it very big. We're going to take our scissors and cut it out because Daisy's legs are very short. And that was useful when people took the Basset Hound out searching for something that they could use their sense of smell for because the legs were short, people were able to keep up with them. And I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw like little toes. Daisy has kind of almost like four little toes that you can see on the edge of her foot. And we're going to go four little ones there. Now I'll show you a picture of Daisy's back. And Daisy's back has a little black at the top, some white, and a lot of dark colors with what looks like a little bit of an Eiffel Tower. And so we're going to, I'm going to start to paint it. You can start to color it in and then we'll come back together to finish it. Well, everything is pretty well dry, so I want to show you what it looks like after we finish painting it. And there's the front, and there's the back. And I also painted the ears, painted the brown, and the tail was black with a little white tip. So now we're going to take our glue and finish making Daisy. So we're going to take glue, put it on the top of the ear. And I remember seeing the picture of Daisy, but the ear did not start at the very top of her head. So we're going to put it just down a little from the top. And we're going to press it in a little. And the glue will dry clear in this case. And we're going to go to the other ear. Again, glue it, spread the glue out along the top. Pick it up. And what we're going to try to do is make it even with the ear that we put on. So we see roughly how far it started away from the eye and about how far down from the top it was. And we put it on and we can hold it a couple of seconds or to stick. And there's Daisy with her ears on. Now, I don't know if you remembered the picture of the back of Daisy, but her tail stuck straight out. So this is why I made the tail from kind of cardboard, is what we're going to do is fold the end of the tail a little so that when we glue it on, it'll stick straight out. So we're going to take our glue, put a little bit on the piece that we folded, and Daisy's tail, and in her back, just kind of, there, we just pitch it there for a few minutes for it to hold, and then, Let's have a look at Daisy. So there's the front of Daisy and there's the back. Shall we have a little prayer together? If you could bow your heads and repeat after me. Loving God, thank you for making dogs and other animals. Thank you for the people who look after me. 
Help me to be kind to others and look after your world. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.